Welcome to Trade Doc Data Options Trader, where we recap today's close. Look at the future scanner ETF watch the spot opportunity. Today is Thursday, January 26, 2017, about 7:30 p.m. I'd like you all to subscribe, to catch these daily recaps, and the markets they close pretty mix. Looks like it's averaging, um, averaging overall down about a quarter percent. The Dow is the only one up. It's at historic 20,100 even. It was up 32 dollars. Uh, the S&P was down a tenth. The Russell was down a half a percent, and the Nasdaq was pretty much unchanged. Let's take a look at the futures. Um, I probably don't have it up. Uh, sorry about that. Yesterday I didn't I'd like to apologize. I didn't get to do this yesterday, but uh. Looks like the majors are down about a tenth of a percent. Bonds are mixed. VIX is up a quarter percent. Crude oil is at 53.70, down about a tenth of a percent. Natural gas is down a full percent in the futures. Um, gold is down a tenth of a percent. Silver is down a half a percent, down to 16.76. Copper came down a half a percent, as well as the Nikkei. Uh, the dollar is up, and everything's pretty much mixed. The Australian dollar was down a, ha a quarter percent, and down here all the soft metal are down. With uh, nickel taking the brunt of it, down uh, four and a quarter percent. You know, look at the charts. Uh, his crude oil. And crude was up almost 2%. It hit the, this trend line here, which I've had uh, since December. And still trading it with options right now. No triple leverages on it. Um, no major positions here. Uh, XOP, oil explorers, were up a half a percent. Looking to break this trend line. Natural gas was up a half a percent as well, so my bias for natural gas is to keep trading on these. So it's got an upward uh, momentum. It's going to be trading between these lines here, right in the middle of this channel. So I have it down. Uh, gold came down a full percent, almost a, almost a full percent. So I'm looking to to get to my big buy would be at. 111.70 if it reaches that I'll put a big position on but I'm slowly adding positions to it with options I still have the hedge on there I haven't taken it off um, gold miners I'm, I started adding to the position so I'll put a little ad here because it's right at the bottom of this channel so just adding positions on it so I expect it to come down a little bit more and if it does I'll keep adding to that silver same thing I got I'm adding to it as well I took some profits on it earlier and then it's trading between here and I have a different option strategy on here besides that one up top XLE's got no position but um, pretty short oil and uh, the oil explorers and it looks like XLE has broken this this trend here so it could keep trading up on this uh, this momentum it's, it's got a little bit of momentum nothing's just gonna come crashing down XLU still trading sideways uh, I'm going to have to put some sort of option strategy and take advantage of this type of movement. I've been trading the same range since uh, the beginning of December, so it's two months in that range. Uh, they were up uh, a fourth of a percent, 0 0.04 that is. Uh, industrial sector came up a quarter of a percent. Uh, doing nothing there. Uh, material sector was up another quarter percent 
I have marks for the all-time highs here. Looking a little bit oversold. I'm not looking to uh, to put any shorts on this on these. There's just nothing's clear right now. I like them to even trade sideways. This healthcare sector, and I had taken profits in it yesterday because I know it's going to come back and retest that 68-68 uh, level. So no position in it right now. Kind of like it. I'd like it to come back down and get at least close to that 68-68 level, or I'll actually just put a. Actually, that's probably a, the better idea would be to put this uh, alert here, which uh, allows me to. To add a position, so I'm gonna start adding positions. I'm gonna start adding positions to XLE. I mean, the healthcare sector, just because I want to be long at the end of all this. And it looks like there's two more levels I'd like to add, so I'm gonna add them in thirds. I'm just gonna take a little bit, cause. Add here. This will be by three. And it looks like by two. And this one, this is my support level where I actually got into it. But even if it, it's probably not even going to touch that level. So I definitely want to buy once it gets to here, and I'll take another buy here, and then I'll kind of look for another entry. Uh, retail sector, I mean uh, real estate sector, I'm now short with uh, DRV, finally got short. And uh, not as short as I did, because I did find a triple leverage for this, and it's pretty cool, because it's called Nail and Claw. Nail will be the bullish. Claw would be the bearish for this. So I did take profits on it and I'm actually on um, the I actually found a triple leveraged uh, claw. It's called C L A W and that's a triple leveraged for home builders. So that's uh I'm glad I found that. I don't have to start looking for individual stocks. I don't have time for all that. Retail sector I'm starting, it's, it's kind of doing this H here. So I'm actually going to start building a position for retails just because uh, anything that's happened is happening, in my, in my opinion. And, um, companies are going out, but, uh, and they've got come down, bringing down the index. So I'm starting to get along that. Uh, financials, they're up a, a quarter percent broke this uh, steep trend line here and they actually closed below it so it's probably a good place to short and I'm still short financials no matter what if they cross the all-time high I'll take a loss but right now I'm in short financials is S&P hit another all-time high uh, actually in the after hours uh, not today yesterday Looks like it's coming down today in, this, in the after hours. And the Dow, 20,000, kind of like fading it. But uh, it's at 20,100, so, and this says um, 200.76, so I got to do a little bit of math on that to see exactly what the point is. Here's the Q's, and I am short the Q's. I was sure I put a nice short on the Q's yesterday. So here it is. I've just been building this position. Now I'm pretty short the the cues just because I want to get long. That's that's my whole point. Uh, the Russell, you know, I just been adding on to it, and I do have this options position. This came right back into the price box, so I expect that to close somewhere in there. I only have a couple of days to expire. I think it might be the end of, the end of this week. There's emerging markets. And emerging markets actually took a little bit off today with that dividend ETF. 
Uh, I sh I'm, I'm gonna actually put to help people out. I'm actually gonna put signs here to tell you what ETFs I, I trade with. And Japan hit an all-time high and pretty much got rejected off of there. So it was trading sideways in here. This triangle bursted out. Hit an all-time high that it hit like a while back and now uh, reversed. China, India, kind of like I'm kicking myself because I didn't keep all my India shares and India was one of the ones I believed in. So I got to do something there. And Russia, definitely trading a tr 